back and the bike was just tumbling down the road. I thought, oh no. Coming through there in spectacular fashion, flying along, bike flinging out the back. Pistachio tortellini. Oh, don't, don't catch your oil. Dropping! Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I did, we filmed a bike check, so I was going to, the first plan was to come bombing through there in spectacular fashion, flying along, bike flinging out the back, pull up here, hey Benny, fancy seeing you here, but instead, on the practice run, drive shaft broke, <laughs> and we weren't even going fast, and I've been pulling a digger with this for like, weeks, so... That'll probably be why, but I've got one on order already and a new clutch, so it should be fine. But now we're stuck in the middle of the woods. No, not woods, we're in a lovely setting here. But we might as well do a bike check, shouldn't we? This is my ransom. This is the one, if you can recall, a few weeks ago, fell out the back of this exact truck because I forgot to do these bits up. It was like that. Going, going 50 miles an hour, I was going to a GoPro shoot. I look back, and the bike was just tumbling down the road. I thought, oh no. Anyway, let's get this lined up ready for the shoot. So, the plan was bike check. We drove out here, cool location, but we got stuck. Truck broke down. Anyway, this is the Scott Ransom, a 2020 Scott Ransom in large with all my special bits on it. And I thought I'd give you a little walk around. We're doing a walk around, not bike check here, you see. So, let's start at the front. On the front, I'm running a 29 inch wheel. Maxxis DHR with 25 PSI, cross country casing, the uh, EXO casing, that's a real thin casing. Just cause I use this bike kind of like for trail bike, cross country, where we live, we have no rocks or anything like that. So there's no problem about getting punctures ever really. So lightweight tire at the front, uh, DHR which is a, normally a rear tyre but I really like the braking on it I think it brakes way better for me in that sandy conditions than the other tyres so that up front with an NV M9 rim um, it's the rims pretty much too big for what we need it for too big for a trail bike but I like to run them on all my bikes because I run them on my downhill bikes it gets me used to the profile of the tyre so that's a 30 mil internal profile on the uh, on the MV rim. So it keeps my downhill tires and my trail bike tires all the same the same profile, so I can get used to it. That's right here, Chris King hub. Um, pretty cool new colour, bourbon I think it's called. So it's a new hub. Then obviously one of the main events are these new pistachio tortellinis, 38. You gotta have a good look at them from the front, Benny. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, don't, don't catch your oil on your way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so honestly, so stoked on that 38. The colour is a bit like, ah, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna like that. But then how well does it match the Landy? So good, so good. So obviously I was stoked to get them on the bike and uh, running 170 mil travel. So it's a new 2020 Fox 38. Uh, 15 mil uh, bolt through for cross country whatever or trail bike uh, fitting here pinch bolt up to the cockpit we've got a I've actually got a 35 mil deity copperhead stem with my signature handlebar the BF 800 deity you can see they're a bit they're in a bit of a, a sorry state because every time I tie my bike in the van or do an uplift or like tie a GoPro on or something, they get ripped to pieces. But um so stoked on that bar. It's like a, the best all round bar, 30 mil rise, perfect. I actually run this bar, well, it says BF800 because it comes in 800 mil. I've got a little marker on there at 780 mil for where I cut them down on my downhill bike. But I actually run them at 770 mil for my trail bike. Just so I like them all to feel like a little bit different. Then obviously, Super soft race edition death grips um, up front. I haven't actually got the new uh, the new cool anodized petrol caps yet, but must get around to getting them bad boys on there. 
Um, yeah, and then up front we're also running um, the new TRP DHR Evo brakes with 200 mil rotors back and front, just bulk it up. This bike is like kind of like the gnarliest bike apart from the downhill bike. So if, any, if there's any like rough tracks or big jumps or something, I'll take this one for sure. 12 shifter up here, the new TR12 drive chain up obviously back there as well. Fox dropper post, 150 mil. Actually, I need to get a 170. I saw uh, a friend of mine had a 175 new Fox one the other day, and it's so pimp. So yeah, I need that. Got the DMR pedals, the DMR Bren Dog Editions. This side, I have a matte black one. That side, I have the Ice DMR Vault Bren Dog Ice. Um, the reason why I have two is because my bike fell out the back of the truck at 50 miles an hour. And actually, the only damage that really did was like wreck both my grips like it carves my bars down a bit like that and uh scratch the hell out of my pedal oh actually and that as well so i don't understand how it fell out 50 miles an hour actually and it's only done that it was like tumbling down the road such a sick bike so yeah into the middle dmr axe crank as you can see i'm a little bit of a hoarder i hate new stuff i like keeping stuff i like if it's not broken don't fix it i like to keep I get attached to stuff, so that crank is probably two years old, as you can see, and I just keep swapping it over, and that thing is honestly bulletproof. It's amazing. DMIX crank, bolt pedals, Fox shock. Don't know what that's called, but it comes on the bike, so pretty sick. And I've had the zero problems with it. It's got it's got this cool like thing. If you look here, it's got this ramp thing where you can like have it so it ramps up more or ramps up less. Stoked to that. I run about 230 psi in that, 220-230 psi in that. On the fork, I run about 90 psi up front. So Fox transfer post, it's got the 150 edition with the deity seat. Yeah, it's pretty bulletproof setup, really there. Onto the back, we've got the TR12 up out back. Uh, 12 speed, coming just come out this year. Stoked on it, so happy with that. With, the, with also DHR Evo brakes as well on the back with a 200 mil rotor as well. Like I said, just cause I want it to feel as much like my downhill bike as I can so I can just jump off this and then jump on my downhill bike and it feels similar. Apart from the bars, which I said I like a bit short where I like to feel, make sure it's a different bike. But I like the brakes to be the same, tires, wheels and stuff so you can just get used to it. Oh and also about the cranks, I run a 165 crank. Um, just because, like I said, I want it to feel as much like my downhill bike as I can. So, 165 cranks on all bikes to keep it consistent, keep it all the same. Hopefully, muscle memory in your legs gets used to it, and then eventually, I'll one day be powerful at pedaling a bike, but probably not. Out back again, uh, NVM9, like this big, bulky rim, bulletproof, with another, another bourbon uh, Chris King hub. Um, I run uh, in the in the summer especially I run like um, an aggressor double D which is like a slightly thicker compound just so it prevents it like moving too much in corners um, I run that at about 30 psi almost all the time just because like I said I don't like to feel the tire moving too much so summer setup is DHR at the front aggressor at the back bike actually stays exactly the same as that for the summer and the winter I just put some Maxxis shorties on on the front and back for the uh, for the winter but yeah that is the bike of choice and that's the one that I go into the garage and I'm just like magneted over to my uh, to my ransom every single time so and that thing is let me tell you it's been through some absolute hell for a start falling out the back done massive jumps done fest series jumps you know taking it to Utah R riding along like piddly little like walking past where we live and fire roads it's just an all round sick bike I love it oh yeah that ain't good is it quite broken under there? yeah it's quite broken under there <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck fuck me that is yeah that's fucked Yeah. Do you want another ratchet strap? Uh... <laughs> I just 
loving this. <laughs> <laughs> the right side of the camera. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're trying to do now. We're trying to... This way! Obviously the drive shaft is flailing around underneath, so we can't pull it, because otherwise it'd just flap around and smash everything up. So we've got to tie it to something. So I just grind it off. We built this city right. Yeah. Lockdown locks back out. Whoa! <laughs> right, that's. Uh, do you want to have a look at our handiwork? I would love to. Zip tied to there. Oh my so we've obviously got to tow it. Basically, we've just got to keep the shaft out of the way from rattling around and smashing everything else up. So that's the only uh, solution. It's a good bike check, this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a good thumb though. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Um <laughs> Cheers, Christian. <laughs> Yeah, no, you can't see the Shredded. Shredded. Cheers, Christian. Ah. Bike check day. I thought, oh yeah, we'll get Benny over. We'll whip out a quick bike check. Go go drive somewhere picturesque. Take the Landy, because obviously the, the new 38s, they've painted them the same colour as my Landy. Because they knew it was pimp. Yeah, it didn't work too well. So we had to call on... Uh, Noah, call on Christian, it's just what he wanted to do after work. And then, oh yeah, and she came. <laughs> 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 no, but I think we've, we've uh, solved it now. Mm. Fingers crossed. It's just going to cost me about, God knows, how much to fix it. Oh, if, if Twisted want to uh, hook up me, uh, <laughs> hook up a service kit on the, on the landy, I'll come up. Being saved by the little brother. This is the 